I was truly amazed when I saw this Merz for the first time. What struck me was the brightness of the colors, the, the contrast, the, the fact that the found objects were still intact. And this Merz, like most Merz, they grow on you as, you as you start to interact with it and go into it and start understanding it, relating them back to the context of the time, to what came before, and to what is going to come after. Kurt Schwitter is possibly one of the most important mid-20th century German artists. Schwitter was born in Hanover in 1887. He came from a well-to-do family. The main turning point in his life was really the First World War. As a young man, he wasn't enlisted as he had uh, epileptic uh, disorders, but worked in factories and basically saw what happened during World War I and, and especially after in post-war Germany. Schwitter has in fact said himself in his memoirs that after World War I, everything that he had learned at the academy, all the traditional ways of depicting, all the even expressionism, were broken. Just like the world, everything was broken and he had to invent a new language. And this is where his art really takes off, where he invents a specific type of art very close to Dadaism and which ends up having a very profound influence on, on 20th century art and even contemporary practice to this day. The word Mertz is fascinating. Just like Dada, it is one of these words that, that, that were completely invented and that is meant to have no sense. Should have made this Mertz a crucial moment in his life and career. While some artists look at the Louvre, he looked at the street, he looked at the pavement. He, he would famously carry around suitcases or fill his pockets full of thumbtacks, stamps, scraps of paper, pieces of tin, pieces of metal. Uh, on the upper left, you, you see a, a stamp, you see newspaper print in the background. On the, the upper right corner, you, you note the wheel. That's actually painted. And, and it contrasts with the found circular metallic elements that are right below. If you turn it around, uh, you find inscriptions. Uh, first of all, you see in big black print, uh, Der Zwiemen, which um, is very important because that's the title of a magazine that was published in Hanover, where he wrote his first description of what Merz was. This Mert is dedicated to Raoul Osman, the founding member of the Berlin Dada. The use of these objects is incredibly revolutionary because it becomes collages uh, uh, of the everyday. They, they, they have a political and a social uh, side to them that are tremendous and, and that convey the incredible times that were post-war Germany.